Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another fun uh, 3D project share to share with you guys. And I've been having so much fun making 3D projects. Now I know the challenge going around is where you're supposed to use up your SVG files that you purchased and haven't used before. But I uh, don't have that many files and especially I don't really have 3D files. So I went out and purchased it. Um, and I'm going to share with you guys uh, what I did here. And I was inspired by Tamika from Scrap the World. She did a horse and carriage and I really wanted to do one, but I wanted to do a different style carriage. So let me show you guys what I got here. And here it is, guys. Look at my horse and carriage. How stinking cute is this, guys? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to like share this with you guys. Um, so I purchased three different SVG files, but in the end, I only ended up using two. So I really tried to do um, the third one, and I'll, show, I'll tell you guys the file. So the first file is this carriage right here. This is actually from an Etsy store. And um, I really just liked how it looked and I was able to do some decorating and everything. I actually did another one my first time, this one right here, but it ended up being lopsided when you like put it down and the chairs and oh, it just, I wasn't feeling it. And I really wanted a cute little carriage and normally I never remake projects. If it doesn't work out for me, it doesn't work out for me and I don't redo them. But I love like the whole princessy thing and everything. I love Cinderella movies. Um, I like the, all the uh, Cinderella story version movies. Like I watch all of those. I love it so much. And for my wedding, I actually want to arrive in a carriage in my future wedding. But I don't know how that's going to work out yet. Anyway, so I do love the whole princessy thing, which is why I think I actually ended up redoing it because I just wanted it to be super um, perfect. So this is how the carriage turned out. I layered the little windows with acetate. So when you open this up, you actually have the acetate. I didn't want it to open up completely like where you could like put like stick your hand in there. I wanted the acetate there because I actually, this part didn't come with the file, um, but I actually turned this into like a little opening closure like this so I can put some goodies in here. I'm obviously keeping this for myself. Like there's no way I could part with this. Um, but if I wanted to, I can put some stuff in there. Um, I did some little pearls right here. I did some layering with the gold. Um, all these gold pieces, those came in the file. Um, you, all, you already had all those layering pieces. Um, oh, and then I don't know if you guys could see, but I added in little curtains in the windows. And then that's just seam binding trim that I used. And I just uh, hot glued it to like the top and then the corner and then a little bit here. So it kind of dangles off like that. Um, I added in the little chairs that's included in the file. The only thing that wasn't included in this file is this piece. It gives you a piece that you just put on top and make a ceiling but you glue it on top. This was super easy to make though because all you did is make like a rectangle the size you need and then another rectangle kind of joining it with like a perforated line and I just cut that out and yeah. And then I just made like the little inside. So that was super easy to do. Oh and you also have this inside layered with um, some gold like glitter so it turned out super stinking cute so the third file the svg that i got was actually the same one that scrapped a world used which is like um a box um carriage that she turned into it it's actually like a coffin file but she had turned it into a carriage and she did like such a great job on it but i loved the opening of the box which just looked like this and it had like an inside box that you would just stick in and it would stay so i really tried to do that with this but it wasn't working out for me it just you know the sizing was completely off so i tried to make two and then i just gave up and i decided to do this kind of top instead which actually ended up working so much better and in this way you only need two different svg files to make it um this carriage was a little expensive it was like eight dollars and something um from etsy because it wasn't from the silhouette design store so it wasn't like the regular two dollar price tag but i do love it so 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 much um, the first one I cut out, I also didn't realize how big it was. 
and if I had the space for it I would have totally done it but this was like the first one that um, I cut out totally would have done this if I had the space for it probably would have been easier to like put together and everything because it's bigger but I just don't have the space anyway so let me continue I also added this little lace trim here on the outsides here just to add a little bit more decoration but isn't it so cute guys I love my little carriage and then the horses is a different SVG file and you just get like this horse piece with this like little attachment. I did make my little attachment a little longer because the size that they had, the horse's tail was like touching the wheel. So I had to make this a little longer to work for my project, but you guys can see I ended up making it work out. I think I may have made the horses a little bit too big um, they're like almost the size of the carriage, um, but not really, um, but they're, I think they're a little too big, but I tried to make them smaller and it just looked funny to me. So I just ended up going with this size. Here's the horses up close. I know it's a little hard to see because I do have like a pearlized, um, flower paper on them. And then I have the gold layering bits and pieces. I also have some pearl trim that I added to this part here. And this just connects in the middle like this. They have like a tutorial online, like a picture tutorial and written words, but not like a video. And I like that I'm able to like move this up and down. It's really, really stinking cute. I just have it glued by a little teeny piece, like a little tab right here at the bottom. Um, so that's just how it is attached. And then, um, oh, these are little brads right here. Those are brads. That's all in the, in the tutorial. It kind of tells you like what you need to do. It's a little hard to follow at first, but I ended up uh, figuring it out. I just thought the pictures weren't exact, I guess, if I could say that. <laughs> and then these little jemmies, I actually ended up getting creative with these because in my jemmies, I had these, but it only comes with three pink ones and then it had like three white ones and so on. So what I ended up doing is using the two pink ones and you guys see like they sparkle a little and they shine. And then I ended up using two of the clear ones that I had Copic markered with like a magenta E pink. And then I put um, some glitter on top. It's not perfect and you could see a little bit of the marker lines but I think that's like a pretty close um, look for them because otherwise I wouldn't have anything to put there um, because it wouldn't match and I really wanted it to be pink. I tried gold and I wasn't loving how the gold looked at first so I really um, wanted it to be that pink but I again I only had three of the same jemmy that's just how that pack comes of that size. But overall, I am so happy with how this turned out. This was definitely a few day project because I did mess up the first time. Then I did the uh, carriage the second day and then I did the horses the third day. So it was like a three day project right here. But I love how it turned out and it's so cute. I'm going to display this and yeah, I told my sister that this is going to be my centerpiece at my wedding table. but. Maybe not. I might do like centerpieces like this. Who knows? I mean, it also depends if my future husband agrees to um, having little carriages or as their centerpieces, but I guess we'll see. I just love it so much. For now though, this little cutie is going to join the little Ferris wheel that I made and it's going to be on display in my craft room. Oh my gosh, guys, I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm going to have the two final files that I ended up using linked down below. I mean, I guess I could link the other one too, and I'll link uh, Tamika's video in case you guys want to make a carriage like hers. But I just love how this turned out. Ah, so stinking cute, guys. So, so, so cute. Okay, I'm going to display this in my craft room after I take some pictures. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you. I know some of you guys um, already wanted to create the Ferris wheel and I am looking forward to seeing your pictures. Please tag me, show me. I want to see um, how you guys interpreted that file and if you guys decide to do this, I also want to see what you guys do. So thank you guys for being here, watching my crafty videos. I hope you guys are staying well, staying safe, and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.